Season 12, yes. It's um, exciting and uh, unexpected in a way. You know, when you, when, you, when you think about how many shows actually make it on the air and how many stay on the air, I, I see it nothing short of a small miracle. So, um, you know, feeling so blessed. It was funny because when, when season 10 came around, that really hit me. And I couldn't believe that we'd been doing this for 10 years. And now season 12 has come, and I, I, uh, it really hit me, and it's such a um, marker. And so I'm feeling very excited and uh, just having a lot of gratitude about it, really thrilled to be back. And, you know, the show is, seems stronger than ever, and we're starting off with quite a bang. Well, I think we're opening it pretty great. You know, we're opening it with this, you know, your typical sort of gritty Benson and Stabler, Munch and Finn chasing uh, a pedophile. But I think what's so um, exciting about, about this season so far is, is our incredible guest stars. Um, we have Joan Cusack, which just, you know, saying that name just brings a smile to, I think, just about everybody's face, who's been so lovely and who uh, did a scene yesterday that I have to say rocked my world. It was such a difficult and painful scene and I thought I don't know how she's gonna do this you know I was thinking about well, what would I do and I just didn't know how somebody could play it because it's, it's, it's such a difficult acting moment and she just blew me away and surprised me and she you know was one of these people that um, has such a beautiful well of depth and yet at the same time off camera is so light and sparkly and bubbly and um, beautiful so it's been a real treat having her here and then Henry Ian Cusick so we have Cusack and Cusick uh, who's, you know, a great and, and quite a heartthrob, you know, to the ladies. So um, uh, that's fun. You know, that sort of gets you excited and reinvested. And it's been, it's, uh, it's fun to be back. Ian is somebody that we uh, pick up at uh, Grand Central Station and we um, mistake him for a pedophile. We think that he's abducted this child and is, you know, an, sort of an Internet predator. And we find out that he is not that guy. Yes, it's the first time in a while that, um, that, that, uh, that somebody's come in under these circumstances and there seems to be a little bit of a spark. And, um, you know, he's uh, charming and is, um, and is definitely playing Prince Charming to her. What's exciting to me also about season 12 and about starting, start, starting a new season is um, knowing that we're going into sort of uncharted territory and knowing that we're, we're going to excavate um, a whole other side of the character that we haven't. Because you think after 12 years, you know, we've certainly covered a lot and, um, you know, it's great writing and deep writing and mining kind of writing, right? That, that makes anything great and cer certainly explores a character that way. But it's exciting to know that we're going into a whole nother area where we haven't gone before, which will, will bring up so much. So I'm excited to explore that and to act that and to find that. And it's truly, it is a family. And, and one of the things I love about the show is, you know, when Joan was here, when, when new people come on the set, you, you sort of kind of, they mirror back to you what the experience is and what they read from it. And she kept saying, sets aren't like this. I've been on a lot of movies. You know, it's not like this. This is a real family, but it truly is. And that's the gift of 12 years.